So my name is Harry Smith. I'm the director of Dudley Neighbors, Inc., which is the community land trust affiliated with Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative. We um, created Dudley Neighbors, Inc. to allow Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative to continue its organizing and planning work without actually owning the land, without being the, the getting involved in the development. We wanted to keep those, those two functions very separate. Um, the community land trust of the land that you saw, a lot of the vacant land, the burned out land, 30 plus acres of that is now held in trust by Dudley Neighbors, Inc. And um, we're going to talk a little more about what's on it. But if you can see what our mission is, really emphasizing the, the principle of development without displacement and including affordable housing, economic development, open space, and other amenities of the urban village, which, was, which is the kind of larger vision of the community. So it's not just about affordable housing. It's about other, other aspects of it as well. These are the principles that have come out of the planning processes over the years around the land trust. Number one, you heard all through the, you heard all through the, the short clip about how the city or the foundations or other, other institutions were doing the planning in the neighborhood without involving residents. So we wanted to not just be involved and have a voice, but actually to exercise control over that development. So in addition to the land trust, we have an agreement with the city that any major development project involving zoning, licensing, or anything has to come before the Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative's Sustainable Development Committee for review. And it's very rare that the city would approve something if we're actively opposing it. So that's more so than the number of units and the housing created. The kind of community control over the land is, is I think, one of the most significant accomplishments development without displacement, permanent affordability, and then tied into today's conversation, community and family stability and community and family wealth creation. So we're talking about not just the affordable housing, but also what that allows families to do and how that builds both individual and community wealth.